My hand's a little, uh, little unique. Like my mother calls me, special. Interesting. Yeah, but uh, I think we give this a shot. Well, I don't even know what these cards do, so I'm gonna keep this hand. I've never. That's that's smart. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna start with the best card in the deck. Uh, that's real fortunate. I'm gonna start with a Foundry Street Denizen. That so, is yeah. not. Oh God, no! Why? Why? It's starting. <laughs> it's already starting. <laughs> All right. So what can we do? So we can burning tree into court for one. So is that is that worth doing? And then we can cord for two next turn. Ooh. I don't, I don't think that's worth doing. All right, so we're going to scry. Don't think that's something that we want. So we're going to bottom that and burning naked burning tree. Your turn. All right. All right. Um, I see some clothes on it. Do you? Yep. All right, so we did not draw uh, the, the land we were looking for. So I am forced to just... Cast an Unleashed Rakdos Cackler and trigger this guy and get in. I'm going to take it. All right. I could trade, but I don't. I do not think that is a winning go. A winning play on my part. That is not something we needed. Uh, go. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna let's see. I'm just gonna draw and hope I hit naturally rip a land. Oh, Got did. there? I did. Uh oh. Like, oh, I did. That could be bad for me. All right. So now the play I think is just Legion loyalist. Trigger this combat. Trigger this. Yeah. All right. So he's attacking for five. He's probably got Titan strength. Uh, but I don't really know what we're supposed to do about that. I think we ignore it for the turn. And I don't think we want to lose a resource, not with this hand. So, yeah, I'll take five. All right, you're at 13. 13. Um, hmm. I guess we'll play this guy. Go. Right. Cord for two. Sure. Uh, we can go get... Your creature has helped you cast that spell. My creature has helped. I think we just go get a Sylvan character. And we could have blocked, but I do think he would have Titan Strength to kill it. Uh, hmm. would, I, would I have? I think you would have. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out. All right. Draw for turn. It's not a bad one, but uh, might be a little too slow. This is not good. All right. Um, get. Lucranos. Go. Right. Draw. That could be a pretty, that could be a good one. Hmm. Send everything, trigger battalion. All right, so everything's coming in. Uh, he could have double pump, which would be bad. Uh, or we can just try to not die this turn. And if we don't die this turn, then we have the ability to fight. Hmm, all right. If he pumps here, that'll that would be bad here. So we can just block here and here. But then he can double pump this. And this is just three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two pump spells will not do much. Titan strength will kill this, so we probably just want to try to get a freebie. So if we block like this, we get two for one, but if we block like this, we do not. Uh, okay, th those are my blocks. And now I just realized you have a coordinated assault in your deck. All right, so let's see. Well, Titan Strengthening this wouldn't kill your Pelucranos. No, but Titan Strengthening, uh, 
and then coordinated assault. Coordinated assault would. Yeah, be yeah. Pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's a way I can also kill your Sylvan carrier, Ted, but I don't think so. Um, I can if I'm willing to let my Legion loyalist just die. Um, but I think I think I have to kill Pelucanos here. So, uh, Titan strength this and Scry. I think I bottom that because I, I don't think that's the effect I'm looking for right now. And then yeah, I'm gonna coordinate yeah, assault these two. Um, get a soldier. Uh, so you're gonna take. I guess just two. two. Yeah. yeah. Puts me at eleven. I just thought of coordinated assault, and I should not have blocked with burning tree. Yep. <laughs> eleven, and he has three more cards left. <laughs> oh. This is not good. Well, let's go out the glorious way. Aetherling. Our first draw step of the match. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Draw. Uh, Alright, I'm going to Dragon Mantle this guy. Trigger this, trigger this. Draw a card. Awesome. Um, let's see. See skills. I think I just skilled this guy, and then attack with everything in battalion. All right, uh, we'll block here, and I will take four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten. I'm at one. I might have been able to kill him that turn. I don't know. I, I might have missed something. You're up. Go. All right. Foundry Street Denizen trigger this guy. Fire Drinker Seder trigger this guy. Legion Loyalist trigger this guy. And attack you with everything. And trigger these two guys. All right, so he probably can get his Nihilus Disciple here, but I'm just hoping I'm that... I'm still dead, yeah. I'm hoping this is enough to just still kill him. It is, it is. Okay. Yep. All right, well, I had to mulligan, and this is... This is not a good hand, <laughs> but we're going to keep. Um, this hand is fine. It doesn't have any of our sweet things, but it's, it's fine. 19. Oh, yeah, it starts. Go. It begins. Uh, Rakdos Unleashed. You're up. Right, well, that was... Uh, that was good. Go. Are you... Oh, yeah, I can attack, because I'm not going to block. Are you taking Oh, one? wait, no, yeah, no, I will... Okay, yeah. all right, that makes okay, sense. Okay, your turn. Yep. Draw. And... Attack. Um... Yeah, if he wants to use a trick here, I'm fine with it. All right, I think we do, because I we just want to get that thing out of the way. Um, I'm going to bottom that, because it doesn't really drive with our hands. Jive with our hand. Correct. It's been announced. Another cackler. Oh no, that was bad. Uh, I guess we might want this. We wanted uh, it untapped for the turn, but uh, that's not going to happen. So, go. Oh, reclamation stage. I hope I draw hammer hand this turn. Didn't. Um, <laughs> let's see. How do I want to do this? I guess we'll start by playing this and then attacking and triggering. Yep. So you go down. Fourteen. To, yeah. Go down to fourteen and then. Um, cast these two. Oh no. Yep. Go. You're at fourteen. Mm hmm. Trigger. 
Yep, and we just have to get rid of this so we can block with these for the rest of the game, and he might just double pump, but yeah, that's how I'm blocking. Um, yeah, I think I just double pump here, so... so you go to 18. I go to 18, and then four, you... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I go to 5. Uh, let's see. Four. Yeah, you take 9, you go to 5. And he's down. All right. You're up. hoo Do not feel like we want to get aggressive here. So we'll pass the turn to you. All right. I feel like we're probably not going to win this game, but... 4, 5, 6. So we have the ability to... Pump two times, two x. Four, this is just adds one. Four, mana. five, six, seven. You can you can do three times. Or three times this time, yeah. Go. Hmm. I don't think we have any good attacks here. So. Four mana. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Court. Sure. X equals six. Uh oh. Yep. Let's have some fun. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna draw six cards. Okay. That's bad news for me. <laughs> Hopefully one of them is a quarter calling, so we can get that Nylea. <laughs> Nylea's disciple. All right. Would you like to cut? Sure, I would love to cut. Six Trigger, I would like to draw six magical cards. Six lands, really? You'd like to draw six lands? I would not like to draw six lands. Mm. Mm. Are, are you on the camera right now? Is this, is this? Can you see this? I bet this is just the worst thing ever for me. This is not good for you. Mm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna start with that forest, okay? Okay. Well, that's one of the six lands. So. All right. So, actually, we didn't want it. We're not gonna start with the forest. Okay. We're gonna start with a courser. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna reveal another courser. Okay. Uh, then we're going to play a forest. We're gonna go to six. We're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Okay. Uh, blue, using four of it, we're going to play a Prophet of Crufix. Okay. And then using the other, we're going to play those. Sure. And I will attack you. Hmm. Well, that Pelucranus is going to kill us, so I'm willing to get destroyed to kill it. Um, so I will... I'll gang block Pelucranus and pump my Fire Drinker Seder. So I go to 17. And I will deal 3-1-1. 14. And you take six, and that'll drop you to eight. Yep. Okay. Uh, your turn. Okay. Untap. <coughs> mm. I will block with both of these. Uh, end of your turn. I'll concede to that. No, no, no. I'm going to... Oh, wait, no, no, I'm going to activate this first. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to kick Psychonic Rift at the end of your turn, so you can have that back in your hand. Okay. Okay, and then untap. And, and then... And then concede, yes. Okay, okay, then I'll concede. Okay. Well, over here, mine's real fast. Uh, I'm taking out some of my slow stuff. I don't want to clump on these, even though I still want them, because mm -hmm. sometimes I'm going to want to play this, and that helps me cord for Nihilus Disciple. And since we're boarding in so much life gain, uh, we don't need to rely on the possibility of, like, having too many Court of Callings. Yeah. Uh, for myself, I'm bringing in two Mortars and two Eidolons on the play. Uh, a turn two Eidolon seems really good against, like, his Burning Trees and, um, you know, all his, all his mana guys. Um, and then Mortars to kill Corsair Crucifix seems legit. But what are you, what are you boarding out, Beauty? Uh, What's I'm coming boarding out? out my Seder Hoplites. Oh, no, Why? 
I, I, I just don't feel like they were as good as I was hoping they would be. Oh, is that because this is constructed? Uh, no, actually. Oh, it's not? Oh. It's not. Oh. It's not. Wait, um, is your deck 40 cards? Yes. <laughs> I cut all the good ones yeah. and added 17. Yeah, I'm only playing 17 land 40 cards. That's true, yeah. <laughs> it's perfect limited mix. Um, when I'm on the play, I'm not sure what... Or when I'm on the draw, I'm not sure what I want over those guys. If you're on the draw. If I'm on the draw. If you're on the draw. Yeah. All right, we are back uh, with post board, and this hand is acceptable, uh, not insane, but fun. Uh, can we just both put all of our cards on the table at the same time? No. Because then I would start the game at 36 life. <sighs> all right, Fire Drinker Sitter, you got a long way to go. <laughs> you got a lot of work to do, buddy. Go. Okay. Elvish Mystic, you say. How does that match up with... Is a madcap skills. Oh no. 15. Go. Oh no. Oh, this could be bad. All right, well, we're going to be on... If we do this, we could just lose. So we're gonna have to temple, scry. Another good one? Go. That's just bad news. All right, uh, draw. That could be good. I think I'm going to have to pull the trigger on it now just to clear No. The oh, no, that's bad for me. Oh, that's so bad for me. All right, you're All right, at nine. nine. Go. That is going to kind of ruin my day. Gain five. <laughs> 14. Well, it definitely was going to be way worse for you next turn if you didn't kill something. All right, draw. Hmm. All right, so... What is my play here? All right, Cackler. Actually, is that... That might not be the best. Oh, okay, I think this is probably better. Are you going to baking soda me? Frenzied Goblin. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, hammer Hand can't block. Yeah. Combat can't block. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, five, eight, yeah, eight. All right, I'm at six. All right, go. Well, that is a Voyage Insider that I did not wish traveled to see me. All right, so let's figure this out. Right now, we ha we currently have five mana. Six, seven, eight, if we cord. Uh, we can keep playing this gain a bunch of life game, and that might end up working out, especially since like this guy's way more vulnerable next turn. So if we do five, we can get up to six and play both of these. That just, yeah, that has to be right. We'll play that, and then we'll play this. And gain eight, up to four. Uh, get back up to 14. Uh, I, yeah, can attack. Yeah, 14. So if I attack with both of these, it doesn't matter what I make unable to block, he still eats two of my guys. Um, so that seems poor. Uh, I could attack with just the Fire Drinker Seder. But that trades with his Voyaging Seder and his Burning Tree, which isn't that great. Um... At least, like, keeps him on less mana, though, but... I could attack just to just to get this guy through, but then next turn, I still don't get through with it, mm -hmm. so... I'm gonna send just this guy in. Hmm. Um... I mean, our hand is kind of the nut right now, so I kind of just want to take it. 
I mean, we can double block with these, but this is part of our Nekthos, so we can double block with these. But then we lose four Devotion. I think I'm just going to take it. All right. Um... I'll pump once. Okay, so I'm going to go to 8, and you're going to go to 19. 19. Go. All right, so let's figure out what we can all do with our turn. We can, for starters, get up to 8 mana, uh, plane this. I mean, that... Yeah, actually, we're not going to play land first. And we don't need blue mana for anything. So we're going to get up to 8 mana... Play Courser, uh, have five mana left and a life. So we're up to nine. So we have five mana left. Uh, can untap. And now we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen mana. Thirteen mana in our pool. Thirteen. I think I can six. So I need to need to monsters for six. Uh, Thirteen, fourteen, twelve. I can get up to twelve. So it, hold on. Don't or un undo this part. Why yeah. don't you cord? Why don't you cord for Pelucranos before you use the Nyctos the second? Time? Oh yeah, yeah. That's smart. Okay, so we have three men in our pool right now. You and have five men in your pool because you haven't used you have. Oh yeah, I haven't used it. So I have five mana in my pool right now, and uh, so if we tap these, these, so we can go down to three mana in the pool. So that's. I just want to make sure yeah. if, I, if I'm supposed to keep it on tap. So we would go down to three, and then we would go down to one, but then we would have uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then I would monsters for six. So yeah, so I'm going to cord. Okay. Uh, so you have so three right, mana in the pool right now. Right now I have three mana in my pool, and you. This that, is th that's already been tapped. But now it gets untapped. Yeah. Now you, you untap it. So I have three. So now I have four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, so I, I I should that should be untapped. Okay. I, didn't need, I didn't need that, yeah. Yep. So I should have 13 in my pool, and I'm going to Monstrous for 6. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. That's game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, I made a bit of a sideboarding change. I brought in Magma Spray, and I cut uh, two Dragon Mantles and two Hammer Hands. And the uh, reason for that is because both of us think one card should be in the deck and not the other. Yeah, I think Hammer Hand is better in this matchup. He thinks Dragon Mantle is better, so I'm going to split the difference and we'll see as we draw them. Yeah, I offered for BBD to just play my split cards because I want to find the, the you know, I want. Obviously, my ego is involved now, and I want there to be a situation where he always goes for Dragon Mantle. Okay. Uh, and we only have two games left, so. All right, well, I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little land light, but it has some good stuff, so. So it's a one lander. It is a one-lander. Yeah, obviously. Uh, go. All right. Uh, temple. We might actually just want more land. This allows us to, like, you know, put our Sylvan Carrier to under the bus and not feel that bad about it. So I'm going to keep it and pass. Draw. Not what we were looking for. Get in. 18. And go. All right, so we'll just play a Sylvan Carry Ted and pass the turn. Still not what we were looking for. Tax. And, yeah, I have to block. All right, well, I will Titan Strength to kill it. And you take two. Down to 16. Um, I don't know if it's right to do that there, but I want to clear his stuff out of the way. Uh, I guess this is the turn where we just play the Corsair. All right, yeah, we'll just play a Corsair and pass the turn. All right, well, I am just going to Mizium Mortars your Corsair. All right. Hit you for four. Twelve. Go. I'll go to 14. Hope that guy sticks. Your turn.
All right, I'm at nine. Go. <laughs> uh, do I have to actually do that? I guess I don't. I can. I can do something interesting with this card. Uh, and hope that pays off. I, I don't really want to go for the double block, and if there's anything that happens, or if I just get hammer hand and just die. So. I'm just going to pass. All right, I'm just going to send with this. That might be wrong, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to cord. Sure. And separate the BBD from the batter skull. Okay, before blocks, um, I'm gonna magma spray your guy. Yep. And post combat, you, you go to seven. Yep. Another fire drinker stater. Yep. And see what would happen is if you attacked with both, I would have been able to block here and then cord, killing that, and yep. you would have just been left with a worse board position. Yep. Well, yeah. I wouldn't have gotten the Fire Drinker Sider, but I would have gotten the Cackler. Uh, do you want to... You're fine. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't think we have any other options. So we're going to go to seven. Okay. And we're going to play... You're already at seven. Alright, we're going to go to five. Because this is going to potentially save us more life next turn. And this is a more important turn, so... Hmm. Uh, that's bad news for us. That's good. Wait, who's us? Me. Oh, okay. Not not us. Are, are the versus videos getting shut down? Is that what it was? Yeah. Is that what's happening here? Yeah, they are. Oh no. Or just for me. Just for or you. Or for us. Yeah. It, oh, it's bad news for us because I'll be gone and you'll miss me. Well, it's bad news for us because. The viewers are watching from my perspective, and they're they're rooting for me. Oh. Okay. Does that make sense? No, I'm so lost right okay, now. Okay, me too. Uh, all right. So back to the game. <laughs> Try to figure out how to not get destroyed. Um, yeah, this is real bad. N No harness, hammer hand? So, yeah, so if I had hammer hand here, this would be awesome. Do you have a dragon mantle? No. Okay. I don't have either. Um, uh, I think I just have to try to... Yeah, just do this. All right. Well, I think he has a titan strength, so... I'm willing to, you know, not sacrifice Blue Kronos, and I don't care about those two creatures. Okay, well, I will pump this guy. So I'll get to 19, and I'll end up at 16. Yep. They'll trade. And I will just play another Rakdos Cackler. You're up. All right. Uh, we probably want to be able to... We can just kick and kill these two, but that leaves us uh, pretty vulnerable. Uh, because we'd tap this off, or we could just do it next turn, but that would then mean that Titan Strength can kill the Pulukrin, or the Titan Strength will not be able to kill it, but along with a fight would. So that is also not a play that I want to make. So we have to reevaluate and figure out how this turn is played out, and I think making sure that we can Monsters for two allows us to be able to block one of these, so we can block all of his creatures. So I'm just going to play a Sylvan Kiritid and pass the turn. <coughs> All right, well, we don't have any good attacks, um, so we'll just do this. Pass. Okay. Just keep flooding the board. Uh, again, now we'll be able to, if we tap one mana, we'll have access to fighting for two, uh, or fighting for three. 
If we keep it on tap, we, we can fight for four right now. I don't know how important playing this Elvish Mystic actually is. And we're going to want to fight eventually, but we don't want to get run into another Titan Strength, because it seems like that's what he has in hand from the previous attack last turn, or two turns ago. So we don't want to get blown up by that. So let's say if we have an, at nine, we get a fight for four, and if we fight like these three, that will kill it. Any any three creatures of Titan Strength will kill the Plukronos. So we don't even want to fight multiple creatures. So I guess we'll just play this and pass. Good. And hope to draw something that just gets us out of here. Go. All right. Still don't think I want to fight, even though I could kill two creatures by playing around it. That's pretty good. That is not a bad top deck. <laughs> um, go. Go. All right, I'm going to noms. How many, do you got any noms? I have one creature. And I have three, so we'll, we'll noms all of them. And I'm at nine. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> okay, this hand is not very good, um, but I don't think it's a mulligan because I don't think that you want a mulligan too often with this deck when we have things to cast. So. And I think this is the first time I've seen a hand where I can't gain a life. So I will start with the Chrome Crusader and say go. All right. I'm going to block that. All right. Um, hmm. I think here I madcap skills Oof. and get a soldier and then crash in. Oof! All right, that's that's not bad. I'm at fifteen. Go. Well, that was a pretty good top deck. Go. I drew the carry did. That wasn't a bad top deck actually. Hmm. Well, I'm, I, I can't let that continuously hit me, even though it sucks that I will not have a play next turn if I do double block this way. Uh, I guess we could double block like that, and then only one creature dies. That's probably just better. All right, yeah, I think that's, that doesn't seem bad. All right, I'm gonna magma spray your burning tree emissary. Oh, that was real bad. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was the worst thing that I didn't even think about a burn spell. That is so bad for me. Go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Go. We are in trouble. All right. Madcap skills this guy. Yup. Uh, send everything and Voyaging Seder can't block. All right. Block that. Yep. So you take eight, nine, ten. All right. I'm at five. Go. Go. Legion loyalists. And everything trigger. Just gonna hope that what, he... what's what's my life total? Five. What is a card that can get me out of this? Nihilus Disciple? <laughs> is, it a, is it the second prophet? <laughs> is that, is that going to do it? Probably. It is not. All right. All right. Got him. <laughs> hey, Dragon Mantle is the next card. Yay! Yes, figured, but I, I've drawn into Under Street. Nah. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess Nihilus Disciple is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a decent magic card. Is it? Um, no. It's indecent, actually. It's, it's, yeah, and actually... It doesn't like clothes, really, actually. 
Well, I don't, I don't know about that. No? No. I mean, like, you said Burning Tree was naked and it was wearing clothes, so I don't trust your judgment at all when it comes to art on cards. It seems like you're just not looking at them, so... I mean, you should trust my judgment. I am an artist. Yeah, look, he even has a trophy... That's shattering. Oh, that's... This is this is this is the trophy from the Indianapolis Invitational. Oh, okay. Your, your yeah. trophy, your Hearts and Dreams trophy. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes. That was that's my fourth place plaque. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. It's strong. Yep. It's strong. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think that the 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 hammer fist, hammer hand, hammer yeah, hand, hammer hand. Yeah. Hammer hand actually looked pretty good. Uh, this might not have been the matchup for it. Yeah. I just, I just really wanted to play my blue green deck for my article last week or two weeks ago. But at this point. No, um, yeah, I, seem, I mean, the, the Blue Green deck seems really cool. Like, yeah. I, I like it, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the this exact list, but I do like the thing that it's the things it's doing. And it did feel pretty good. Yeah, it felt like, uh, so, uh, we, I, we've played with and against Cord a, a number of times in videos, and that one felt like one of the few lists where, like, you could actually Cord. Well, yeah, because you have Profit. I think, like, Cord plus Profit works really well together. A lot of the other decks is, like, we were only courting because our guys weren't dying. We weren't playing against like mono black, you know, yeah. where you're just like on turn five and you have like four lands and a cord, and you're like, get an elf. They're like, yeah. kill it. You're like, get another elf with another cord. They're like, kill it. You're like, two Garricks in my hand. Can't <laughs> cast anything. Uh, so I, I like the fact that your deck had like enough cheap stuff and enough cheap targets to mm -hmm. court for. Uh, I think I would main deck an ooze though. Scavenging ooze. I, I did have an ooze for a while, but I, I replaced it with uh, with an Ilya's Disciple. Okay. Um, and the reason for that was um, I thought that if I was courting for something uh, in an attrition matchup, like mm -hmm. I already had cards that did that. Whereas, like uh, I thought that if I ever needed life against any reason, like I want to be able to court to fight a Gray Merchant. You know, if I have it all but I just right. can't beat the racing of the Grey Merchant. I want an ability to do so. And I didn't think Ooze would always do that. So That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, at the same time, though, like a lot of times you're going to be in situations where um, like, it may be later in a game, but you can still only realistically cord for like two based on the way the game's progressing. Yeah, and you want and something you want to be able to like, be good. Yeah, you want something to be able to... Like, you can't always guarantee that you're able to cord for four. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, I think like Ooze seems really awesome. It also, like, an early ooze isn't the worst thing. Like, it actually feels your, your cords for bigger things, too. That's true. So, yeah, that, that could definitely be something in there. Um, um, as for this deck, uh, well, Seder Hoplite, uh, we're, we're buds, but unfortunately I may have to sever the tie. Uh, this is no longer a draft is, format. Time has been going forward, and you know what happens when time happens. People just change. Yeah, like, pe people changed. Um, formats change. Formats, yeah. I mean, we're at M15 now, Seder Hoplite. Yeah. You're not legal anymore. He's going to move on, okay? So, On to uh, bigger and better things. Like a Crow and Crusader. Or, oh, don't you don't. Yeah. Don't you dare. Okay, I would never dare That's do like that. That's like saying you move cities, but just like start dating his neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, his, his neighbor's pretty cool. But uh, I don't know. So yeah, Seder Hoplite probably wasn't the best. Hammerhand, I think, is good. Uh, like Brad said, I don't think this is the best matchup for it because he can flood the board. Whereas, like, Hammerhand's better when your opponent's, like, playing monsters, maybe, for example. And they have, like, two monsters in play, or one. Um, Frenzied Goblin also seemed cool. I don't know. I also feel like this is, like, us trying to talk about a deck that, you know, one of our friends and, you know, coworkers, kind of, you know, another content producer for Star City Games, will probably just tell us what to do. Yeah, he probably will. And he'll probably also, I don't know if he watches these videos or not. But he can uh, he can comment he when can... he sees Boss Lie, he'll watch and then he'll comment about how bad we are. Yeah, yeah. Feel yeah. free to comment about how badly I played and or how badly I built and sideboarded in this matchup, uh, because I honestly like I actually think that this deck's pretty sweet and I could potentially see myself playing it at some point. I know that's crazy, but uh, I would I would like any you know any tips or tricks. Are you kidding me? There's a new reanimate card that BB is going to fall in love with. There's a new reanimate card. You do know this, right? Is it the six mana convoke yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. That one actually does seem pretty sweet. It does seem pretty good. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this long-winded outro. Uh, I'm Brad Nelson, and that's BBD. Yeah, yeah. and I really like the fact... No, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> see yeah. you guys later with uh, some more articles and versus videos and all that stuff. And and next week when we have even more Court of Calling versus non-Court of Calling decks, because we love that card. Yeah, I haven't even played Court yet.